Hello, Sunshine. Welcome back. I am Dr. Stacey and C. Grant talking about our Faith for Normal Weekend 2020 honorees. So I'm so excited to be able to share with you another one of these incredible individuals that I am blessed and humbled to know to be able to call my friends and not just honor them because of how successful they are in business, but because of their level of faith and legacy that they carry. And I'm super duper excited to introduce someone who is so near and dear to my heart. Our connection could never be broken because it started with the embrace of sisterhood and friendship and knowing what that shows up and looks like. And she has been there for me since day one of Faith Penora Weekend as a sponsor, as a supporter, even when I didn't expect with all the things that she has going on, she has been there to not only just say she's a friend or say she's supportive, but show it in actions. I love her more than words can say, and I'm so excited to publicly honor her at Faith Penora Weekend 2020. Who am I talking about? None other than the legendary Miko Branch, owner of Miss Jessie's. Miko, I'm so excited you're here. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. Always good to see you. Absolutely. And you know the story of Miss Jessie. You just celebrated Miss Jessie's birthday. And yes. To know that that legacy is what you carry each day and the legacy of your sister and the work that you've done together. How would you describe what legacy really means to you given your journey and where you are now with taking Miss Jessie's globally? Legacy, you know, for me is so personal, particularly, you know, with the participation and the preparation that my sister Tiki Branch put forward um, in my life personally, but also, you know, in Miss Jessie's. But it didn't just start with Tiki Stacy. Uh, we come from a long line and a legacy and a history of strong women who really did things for themselves. You know, our grandmother, Miss Jessie Mae Branch, that's the woman who we named our, our, our product after for Curls, Kinks, and Waves. She was like the first CEO we'd ever seen. You know, she showed us how to do things when we didn't have the training. You know, we didn't go to business school. So when it came time for us to, you know, show our stuff and, and, and try our hand at business. We were thinking about Miss Jessie. So that's that's our legacy. That's where we come from. And it shows up through TD. It certainly shows up through me. But you know, when my sister passed away in 2014, it became especially important for me to carry on the legacy, the hard work, the tradition of the greatness, you know, that I've seen in my family, that my sister embodied, that my grandmother embodied. So I'm just so proud to be here and I'm just so so proud to just represent represent um, this wonderful legacy that I come from. Absolutely, and we're so proud to just celebrate what you've done, you built it from scratch. There, there was no endowment, nobody handed you $5 million and say, go out there and create Miss Jessie's. You did it from scratch. I'm where people are nervous, they're concerned, they're not quite sure what the economic landscape will look like. And I just want you in closing to just give some words that can inspire someone who might be like you, sitting at the table, trying to figure out and mix things together, but you know that there is some product that you have that the world will be better as a result of you doing it. And you might not have millions of dollars to start out with, but you have the heart, the faith, and the desire to build a legacy. What would you share with that person? You know, we're fortunate to come from just a, a, a magnificent and an exceptional group of people. We're strong, we're proud, we are innovative. Many of us are good at something. It's not just the Titi and the Mikos of the world. Uh, many of us are good caretakers. Many of us are good speakers. We're good performers. Uh, we invented so many things. So, you know, carrying on that legacy and tradition, particularly in these uncertain times, you know, it's something that we were blessed with. It's something that God gave us. So for us to be able to really put you know, organize it and put a, a name to it and, and, and identify what we're doing. This is, you know, this is Curly Pudding or this is, you know, the Faithpreneur um, organization. Those are things like, those are the little things that we can do to the everyday big things that we already do. You know, I would say faith is, is especially important now because of the uncertainty. 
you know even though we, we come from a great group of people you know there's uncertainty we don't know what to expect but we do know that we have someone who loves us someone who instilled a lot of power in us and someone who really walks with us and he always orders our steps so for us to know that we have someone with us I think that faith is going to encourage us and give us the strength we need to be able to push forward you know we've gone through many hard times as a people and I really know that we are armed, you know, to be able to address any adversity and to be able to get over to the other side. So I'm confident. Absolutely. And we're confident that you will continue to lead the way as a trailblazer in business, standing on faith, building this legacy for the generations to come in your personal family, as well as inspiring so many others of us. And I am a product user of Miss Jessie's, so I am just grateful for what you have done. And Miko, from the bottom of my heart, I love you to the moon and back. Just thank you for being a real sister, for always having my back and just being so loving and supportive and I just celebrate you every chance I get and I'm thanking God for the blessing that you are in my life. So thank you for being here, sis. I love you, Stacey. Thank you.